Hello fellow survivors, today we're going to look at what some of the expert long dark players out there would recommend in order for you to become a better long dark player. How to master survival. I went on Twitch and I asked 10 different streamers a simple question. If you could give one piece of advice on how to get better at the long dark, what would it be? So that's what we're going to look at today. Some pro tips from pro streamers of the long dark. Let's get to it. Before we begin going through the answers, let me point out that these 10 players that I asked are very good at the game they have tens of thousands of hours between them but even so there are many other streamers that are also really good at this but i couldn't ask all of them so here are the answers from those 10 but there were not 10 different answers because several of the streamers gave the same type of answer and there was one tip in particular that very many streamers recommended which we'll do right at the end so instead uh, of going through each streamer one by one, we're going to group them into categories because there are only really three or four different types of answers that the streamers gave on how to become a better long dark player. Now, first off, we're going to start off with the streamers Rand Alpha 1966, the Deadpool, and Once and Only, who gave three answers that are slightly different, but all branch into roughly the same thing. So let's see what they had to suggest. I would say don't be afraid to die. I think every time you die, you are learning something. So much better for you, like, mentally, when going into this game, to not be, like, so scared of that. Like, I mean, that's the point of the game. And uh, every time you're able to, like, learn from that death, that's all you need to get from it. All right, my piece of advice is don't be afraid to make mistakes in this game and treat every mistake as a learning opportunity because this game is so uh, broad in scope and nuance that you're not going to be able to learn everything right away. You're going to say the same thing over and over. The game's going to keep presenting those same mistakes that you're making throughout your gameplay. And until you learn what those mistakes are that you're making and try to figure them, figure them out, like the game just loves doing that to you over and over. You're going to be losing runs that you cared about and that you thought were invincible and you're going to dust yourself off and get back to it and you're going to think, all right, what did I do wrong in the last run? What can I do better this run? And uh, just keep that in your mind as you're learning this game is that you will run into a lot of death and pain, uh, but hopefully it motivates you to try again. To live, die, learn. Every time you're going to die. If you once you're trying to learn how to play, you're gonna die because you gotta figure out what kills you. And there's so many little things you have to remember that you have to watch for and pay attention to that the only way to get everything is to is to play and die. And then every time you die, you learn something new. Moving on to Thomasina, who is in a blizzard. She has a similar tip to give you that you should use to keep spirits high throughout this game. Take the little victories, you know. Like even if you, you know, if you're brand new to the DLD as a whole or, or interloper, no go for that matter, like your goal might be surviving 30 days and you only make it seven, but you know, seven can still be a personal best, you know, like celebrate the little things, getting your first bow, getting your first, you know, animal skin clothing item made, or visiting each region at least for one day, you know, for the first time. Um, celebrate that and don't let yourself get dejected. Moving on to streamers Big Fish and Acidic Virus, they gave two tips that are almost the same. Uh, so let's just see what they said. Keep moving. 
Like for a for a newer player, I would say keep moving. Like one of the biggest pitfalls in this game is is just staying and then running out of resources. I think my piece of advice would be travel fast. Like I noticed when I started to move fast between regions, things got a lot easier. So for me, traveling fast made a big difference in gameplay for sure. Right, like there's so much food in the world and like if you get to the loot spots uh, fast and stuff. So I think traveling fast would be the one thing that I would stress about. Like you loot an area and you've got a load of food and you're like, I'm just going to sit here. And suddenly you haven't got a food, you haven't got a plan to get some more food. You need to move and you panic. That's what you need to do, right? Don't stay too long in one area unless you are confident you can be self-sufficient in getting yourself food. Keep moving. Keep moving. And finally, there was one tip that many streamers gave, irrespective of what other tips they gave, which they strongly suggested in order to become better at the game and mastering survival. And that tip was... One of the most important things to learn is the maps. Learn the maps. Learn the maps. Learning the maps. Learn the regions. Get to know, you know, map knowledge. Confidence will come once you have map knowledge. So yeah, learning the maps was the big thing they all recommended. And I agree, it is a big part of it, especially on higher difficulties. But let's see what, what they have to say. Why should you learn the maps? Uh, play on Pilgrim or Voyager and learn the maps. That's the, that's the easy, that's the most basic, that's the most basic information I can give you. Play on Pilgrim or Voyager, whatever you're comfortable with, and learn the maps. Don't jump into Stalker and Interloper right away. Unless you just want to die over and over and over and over and over again and maybe get frustrated with the game. And don't look at maps. Just learn them by exploring. I think that is the crucial thing to survive. And you can do that by playing on lower difficulties and do cartography. Cartography. But yeah, I think that's the crucial part to getting better, is learn the maps. Confidence will come once you have map knowledge. If you can find one map in the game that you can sort of get your way around, say, say Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, Milton, start there, start your spawns there in your game mode that you're choosing. Or if you spawn in randomly, try to get to those maps. Get familiar with that map and then move your way out. Start finding other comfort zones that you can travel to. Don't be afraid to go out and explore the maps. Um, you should also try to remember the loot spawns, especially matches. Uh, try to remember where bedrolls spawn. And, you know, you really, um, you really should try to expand and try to explore different maps. Don't always pick Mystery Lake. Try to pick a different map to spawn on. Try different runs. Uh, if you die on a run, start a new run in a different region and then try to survive in that region. Try to go find the matches, find the bedroll in every region. I think that's probably the best advice I can give to new players. Map knowledge is key in this game. It really is. And knowing where the major spawns are is definitely the big thing too. Yeah. So there you have it, survivors. Knowing the maps is the most important thing. Of course, in the future, the expansion pass will change the way the loot system works. So memorizing where the different loot things are may not apply in the future, but it's still very important to know the maps and knowing where to go and knowing where locations are where you could find loot. So uh, with that, um, there are some additional tips for you as well, because several of the streamers gave extra tips while they were talking. So while the outro is running, I'm going to give you some additional tips that the streamers gave. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye bye and enjoy the extra tips. Uh, learning the bow is my next piece of advice if you ever want to play on the higher levels of the game. Because the higher levels of the game, the bow is your only weapon. Watch your bars, don't get cold. Pay attention to your temperature. Make sure that your fire is hot enough to kill the ambient temperature. When you're 
don't think that just a couple pieces of wood on the fire is going to be enough. You need to make sure you have enough wood on the fire to kill the temperature. And don't try to sleep. Unless you're indoors or you're using a fire barrel. Someplace that the fire cannot be blown out. Um, get creative. Don't get stuck in how you're supposed to do anything. I, I, have, I have had moments where I went, hmm, I wonder what would happen if, you know, and gave myself hypothermia on purpose in an effort to heal. Like, there's there's so many different ways to utilize everything that's available to you in this game. So don't get stuck on what everyone's telling you you're supposed to do. There's not only one right way. Yep. The problem I think that a lot of people have early on is they panic if they run out of food. They're like, I need to have food, and it and it, it takes away what they want to do. It takes away the um, what their focus is and what their plan is. They suddenly feel like I desperately need to get food. But at the end of the day, having an empty stomach is no different from having empty energy. Right? You don't play this game and think, Oh my God, I'm nearly tired. I hundred percent need to beeline it for a bed and sleep. That is my main priority. Doesn't happen. And pick up every stick you can find. Even if you drop them in a house and leave them behind, pick up every freaking stick you can find. You'll never be, you'll never, ever, 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 ever be sad to have sticks just sitting in a house. Tommy's hot tea takes. Goat everything. Never stop goating. You will defeat the game. You may die. But in the game of wits, you will defeat the long dark. And emerge victorious. Oh, you're welcome, Zach. I really waffled there, but apologies. Yeah, you can talk, you can't, just cut whatever you need. 